I didn't see you there. New camera. Who's that girl? Who's that? It's Jack. Howdy! Hey guys, um, I'm so excited. I have a brand new camera to start vlogging with, so really now I have no excuse. And we all know that I have every excuse in the book. I wrote the book of excuses, to be honest. But having the wrong camera is officially crossed off that excuse list, because now I got this one. So I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna vlog everything, literally everything. Every morsel of food I eat, every thought that enters my brain, every poop that I t No, I'm serious. I am really excited to have this camera because I'm a firm believer in if you are not feeling motivated or driven, if you have to buy something, as long as you can afford it, to make yourself feel better and find that motivation, then do it. So by me having this handy dandy, really cute and adorable vlogging camera, I have no excuses anymore. Throw the book away, burn it, burn it at hell. So today is just gonna be my day. Let's get to it. Fashion, darling, look it up. No, I'm just talking to myself in the mirror. Hi, baby. Hi, look at you. Wow, paint me like one of your French girls. I threw up a little bit, sorry. I don't have time to clean it up though because I gotta go practice. <gasps> oh my god! Well, Jay has to clean it up because he's the one that gives them canned tuna juice and that's directly what that's from, in my opinion. Well, then if it wasn't from the tuna juice, what was it? Why are you videoing me? Because... What? What's going on? You got? I'm vlogging and you gotta clean up the tuna juice throw up. We don't know that that was the cause. Oh, what else could it be? The things that they eat every single day? No. It could be. It no. It could be a hairball. There's no hairball in there. It's not from the tuna It's liquid, it's liquid. There's like two pieces of food, it's liquid. Cats can eat tuna juice. Well, enjoy cleaning up. Oh! That is liquid. Oh, that's so gross! You do it. No! It was definitely dragon. Are you responsible for this? Definitely. I love you. <laughs> but I'm pissed at you. Oh my god, my superstar driving you to rehearsal. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you so ready? I'm so excited to see you on tour. Good luck. She's not like that. Is there carpet cleaning? <laughs> no. I gotta go. I gotta go. Come on. I'm the one driving you because you haven't driven your car home in three weeks. My stomach was exploding last night. What are all the other days of excuses? I felt sick. Sure. I did. Sure. I did. Sure. You know I've been feeling really worn down. That's why I have this immune plus turmeric ginger water turmeric. Are you gonna shoot salt. that into your veins? No, up my ass. Oh. Okay. Something that I find so unrealistic in movies is when people are in a car and the driver is continuously having a conversation looking at the passenger. If I turn my head in the slightest, my arms go, my hands go. I'm my head and my hands are turning the same way. So if I held my head Don't facing do you, that. Stop doing we're gonna that. go into the Stop next doing lane, that. into the building over there. Literally, the reason she wanted me to pull out the camera and explain this is because I was like, don't turn your head to the right to look at something because when you do it, the whole car fucking goes. She almost ran into a car turning to be like, oh my god, what is that? I was like, what the fuck? By the way, it was a petting zoo when I saw it go. Wow. So where I just dropped Scott off for his rehearsal, there was a movie set up. There was a bunch of trailers and everything, and it reminded me. But when I lived back in New York, I used to see the movie trailers all over the city and I would purposely walk past them because I would really, to my core, think that the director would just somehow be standing outside and see me walk past and go, her, she's the one we've been looking for. Needless to say, it never happened. But did I just want to get out and walk past even though I'm literally in slippers? Because I thought maybe it could still happen. Yes. It's been, it's been hours. It's been hours since that last clip. I have been working. 
sort of. But now I'm hungry and I really just want the Emily Mariko salmon bowl. I've made it twice now. It's really so good. If you haven't made it, I'm telling you it's worth the hype. It's so simple and so freaking delicious. So I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get some salmon because we don't have any. I was I was about to order it, just order a little bit of salmon from Tender Greens. And then I realized that's how I'm spending so much money. It does make sense. So off to Trader Joe's in the cold dark. It's not even cold, but it is dark. Winter of LA. Okay. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go, because if I don't go now, I'm never gonna go. Whoa. What do you think they were just talking about? Gorgeous. You cannot make this up. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you just say? Are you so proud of me? Why? I'm just assuming that's what you were gonna start this off with. But why? Because I vlogged today and I got some stuff done. I did a bunch of stuff that I have been putting off. And oh no, I, I thought just you went to the store and got food for dinner. Okay, that's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> Cause I already told them how I was like, I don't want to go because it's cold and dark, but I mustered up the courage because I was like, Jack, you said you wanted a salmon bowl, go. You're mixed salmon bowls? I was gonna until every piece of salmon Trader Joe's had to offer was not there. Wait, beforehand, before the this- The entire salmon selection's gone. She was texting me and she was like, I can't go, it's cold. I was like, it's just, I just was outside. It's not that cold. And I was like, in my head, I was like, aren't you from somewhere that fucking snows? It's yeah. like 65 degrees outside. Like <laughs> she doesn't live there in many years. <laughs> Point is that I did it. And of course, no salmon. with my freaking luck, no goddamn salmon. Goddamn Emily Mariko. She's ruining everything! Although she did introduce us to the, to the dish. I know. So it's kind of a give and take. Ugh. Emily Mariko, you shouldn't have made a viral TikTok sensation. You should have just messaged Jack the recipe. Yeah. So Come on, Emily. It wasn't out of stock. Woman to woman? Eat it. She Come went on. Viral okay, so since salmon doesn't exist in Trader Joe's, I had to quick improvise on my feet. Be fast, quick, as lightning. It's like always now. I am gonna make these. I used to make these all the time. They're high protein veggie burgers. They're so good. I don't even know what's in them. Oh, never mind. I do. Pea protein. So I'm gonna make this. I literally pop it in the microwave and then flip it over and do it again. I'm gonna toast an English muffin. I'm gonna put some spinach on it and slather it in this. If you have never tried Trader Joe's Greek style feta dressing, you are missing out on one of the pure joys in life. This is so freaking delicious. I can't recommend it enough. And then I was like, I kind of want like something else though to go with my burger. So I saw this. It's soup season, bitches. And I love soup so much. And this is tomato feta soup. So it's right on brand with the feta dressing. I know. I know. Okay, listen, she is not that gorgeous, but she's gonna taste good and that's all that matters. I'm telling you, it's so good and it's so easy to make. You won't love the way it looks, but it doesn't really matter. I'll pull it apart a little bit. Hey, you guys remember this face? If you don't, it's Alex. Hi. My super hot friend with big boobs and big butt, blessed by the Lord himself. Also an amazing personality. Um, we got- <laughs> Driving all the way. <laughs> we got a fun day planned. Where she's gonna see my cat. Oh yeah, she's, she's fostering a cat. a cat. The same place that I got Ghibli from. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Oh my God, look at you. You're so tiny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's purring. She's so sweet. She's like, oh my somebody. gosh. Oh, she's eating. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she like feels.
pulls the camera on her. <laughs> How much do I have to pay you to run through this? Oh, literally $1,000. Oh, wait. It's not even coming up. There! <laughs> Damn. If I was more balling, I would say I'd give you $1,000 to do it. it We're not there yet! Okay, guys. So, Alex really wanted to go to Abercrombie and & Fitch, and there's only one near us. And it happened to be at Universal City Walk. It's 16 minutes of parking. And we yes. definitely have been parked for more than 16 minutes. It was either pay $30 like for the day for parking or you could go free for 16 minutes she was like run so we said green light, green light. <laughs> but i got the jeans i saw them on tiktok the curve love jeans the they're great jeans. if you haven't if you haven't gotten them yet get them they're really cool and then they button in the front asymmetrically yeah so they're spicy they're super spicy and then we're gonna go out to dinner one day this week and she can wear them oh my god this one's lovely i know just a lovely relaxing brunch Wonderful! What are you getting? Pancakes! Pancakes! Eggs! Pancakes! Nice. Nice. I guess I forgot to keep filming because that's where the footage stops. So that's where I'm gonna stop this vlog as well. But you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm gonna be back. Because now I'm getting after it. Even though literally right now I'm filming on my phone only because I want to quick airdrop this and upload it, blah, blah, blah. But I love my camera. And just get ready for Vlog Central, Vlog World, Vlog Universe, featuring me. And whoever I can get to be in my vlog that day. Love you. Bye.